Why do Gilly Brogues have the metal part in the heel? Is it just to make them more clippity-clappity? What is the history behind the metal part? The, the clippity-clappity <laughs> of the metal heel um, allows... No, never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to pull <laughs> Eric on this. Um, now the uh, the metal heel cleat. It's it's called a heel cleat. It basically stops the heel from wearing down. If you notice, it's not square in the back of the shoe. It's off to the side. It's the part of the heel of the shoe that actually gets worn down. If you look at, take one of your normal pairs of dress shoes that do not have a metal heel cleat one that you've worn for a while, and you'll notice that the outside side of the back side of the, of the shoes will be worn down before, like, the straight back will be worn down. That is why the metal heel cleat is there. That is why it is positioned in the way that it is, so that as you're walking, you're not wearing down the heel on the shoe. There's probably more, you know... To it than that that I don't, I'm not aware of. Yeah, it's another. But. This is another carryover thing, type thing we just like talked about. In in military, you had in a lot of military shoes. You had heel plates. You had toe plates. You had uh, hobnails um, to save the wear and tear on your shoes. And it, it's those spots that get worn the most usually get those types of metal bits added to them. And again, it's just a rollover from from the, those shoes. They're still being used today, and as Rocky's point, you, you look at your shoes, you're going to see those wear spots, and that's why they're placed in those particular spots. There's also an inordinate number of tap dancers who also <laughs> wear kilts. So No, not at all. Um, yeah, you just got to deal with the clippity -clopity. Um If it bothers you, because it, when I first, I got one, my first pair that had that metal heel cleat, I hated it. Um, and we have hardwood floors and part of our house and I was really not about to screw that up and get screamed at. So I actually took my shoes to a cobbler and had them change out the basically the entire heel on the shoe. I was gonna just have them try to like replace that block, but they ended up saying no, it's just it's cheaper and easier to just replace the whole heel piece of the shoe. So he replaced it and he felt horrible that he had to charge me twenty bucks to replace the heels on the shoes because they were they weren't even worn and oh my gosh I'm so sorry I have to charge you and I'm like it's twenty bucks dude whatever um, for a heel piece when I'm asking him to do something custom for me um, but yeah it's if it bothers you try to find a cobbler local to you see if they can do it um, if not don't walk on hardwood floors and you'll get used to the clippity cloppity Mr Clydesdale for a if you have to walk on hardwood floors. Something you can do, <laughs> something you can do to help that out, so you don't damage the hardwood floors. Or the other danger is the linoleum floors. Depending on how much metal is on your shoes, that can be fun. Yeah, yeah. No, from experience. Um, take electrical tape, black electrical tape. Cover the the metal bit with the tape. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna damage the floor. The risk of damaging the floor is a lot lower. lower. Yeah. Um, It'll wear through. Eventually, yes. Yeah. Like, by the time you leave the house. But, but yeah. you're you're saving the floor in, in, that, in that instance. And potentially, your marriage. 